So you're thinking about rehoming some ex-battery hens. Where do you start? I'm sitting here with one of my lovely ex-bats. Um, she's been with us for two years now and she's now fully feathered and she really is an absolute delight to be around. So where do we go to get these beautiful hens? Where do we go? <laughs> so I personally have always used the British Hen Welfare Trust and I can't recommend them highly enough. I will leave a link in the description to their website so you can go and check that out and they have regular rehoming dates but I would also recommend doing a website search to see if there's any local charities near to yourselves. So now that we've established where you get your hens from what do we need to do next? So it's really important to be prepared. You want to start thinking about how many chickens you'd like to take on and that's then going to influence the type of housing and space that you're going to need. So, are you taking on chickens and you've never kept chickens before, so you're a complete newbie? Or are you somebody that's already kept hens, but you've just never taken any, any rescue hens? If you've never kept chickens before, then I would suggest getting a small flock of about three. And certainly no more than five to start you off. Obviously, if you've already kept chickens before and you're very experienced, then you know, a flock of five or more would be absolutely fine, depending on how much space you've got. But I wouldn't recommend putting them immediately in with your existing flock. You will need to have an isolated area to put them in for seven to ten days while they settle before you introduce them to your flock. I'd highly recommend getting your research done now. Go out to local feed merchants, have a look online, what type of chicken coop do you want to be using? Do you want to buy a wooden one or one of the more modern plastic ones? What sort of space have you got? Get your fencing in place. Make sure you've got an area that's going to be fox proof. And don't wait till the day that you're going to collect your chickens to suddenly realise that you need food and you're going to need various containers or utensils such as waterers and feeders. So do your research. Have a think about what they're going to need. Something like a cat's basket would be suitable for bringing them home in and you can fit anything up to four hens in one basket. So if you're going to pick up a flock of three, you don't need three baskets, one for each hen. You can pop three quite snugly into one basket and actually the comfort of having each other for their journey home will be very useful to them. There are a whole variety of different feeds and beddings out there. When you first take your expats on, the British Hen Welfare Trust do have some feed that you can buy from then. You don't buy it on the day that you pick up your chickens. You would need to order that in advance online. And I would recommend starting off with a crumb or something that you can soak before you progress onto more um, pelleted foods or corns. Our chickens are all fed on a mix of mixed corn and layers pellets, but we progress them onto that. And then, of course, the other thing you're going to have to think about is if you were ever to need any veterinary intervention, have you got some kind of a chicken first aid kit? So set yourself up with the basics. But also, do you have a vet near to you that would be happy to treat your chickens? Because not all vets will be particularly experienced in birds and chickens. So find yourself a vet, you know, do a little bit of shopping around. You may already have pets, you may already have a dog or a cat. So you can ask at the vets that you take them to. Um, but they may, they, they may be happy to see chickens, but do a little bit of shopping around um, to find a vet that you know, is a bit more specialised in looking after chickens. So if you do run into any problems, you've got that back up. To summarise, do your research and planning. Find yourself the area that you're going to keep your birds, get it set up and ready. Make sure you've got a carrying basket in order to bring them home. Make sure you've got the correct food and you've got feeders to feed them with. Contact a charity near to yourself. Find out when their next rehoming day is and then you can rehome some of these beautiful ex-commercial chickens. And I really can't recommend it highly enough. It is so, so rewarding watching them change and grow and develop their little personalities and of course you get lovely eggs.